what is up everybody welcome back to another video today we are going to take a deep dive into some landing challenges turbo prop only landing challenges and the new microsoft flight sim 2020. now before we get into it i do want to say i am not very good at video games and these landings are definitely not a direct reflection of my airline landings so just because i'm an airline pilot doesn't mean i can land well on flights in 2020 so this is going to be a turbo prop only landing challenge we're just going to knock out a few and if you guys enjoy the video make sure you hit that thumbs up button and you're subscribed we're on our way to 100,000 subscribers just crossed over 75 this last week and my goal is to hit 100,000 by the end of this year and also i know this is a little different from the vlogs on my channel I am about to implement a whole lot of aviation vlogs, so that's really cool. For you that do not follow me on Instagram, in three days I'm taking my A36 Bonanza across country with another great friend of mine who's also an airline pilot, and it's just going to be action-packed. We're going to land at some of the most challenging and also most beautiful airports here in the United States, including Catalina off the coast of California. So make sure you're subbed for that, and let's get right into it. All right, so let's go landing challenges. Let's do some epic landing challenges. Uh, now, I've done a few of these before. Uh, they're all very bad. Let's start off with, yeah, let's go St. Bart's in this TBM. Now, this is a very difficult airport. It's a dream of mine to eventually fly in here. After this cross country in my Bonanza, I'd love to eventually go down and island hop down the caribbean chain so i'd fly down to west palm beach and then jump over to the bahamas and then just hop all the way down to hopefully end up in st bart's one day extremely challenging airport uh i'm sure a lot of you have seen youtube videos of like twin otters and stuff just coming in and way too high and fast sliding off the end of the runway into the beach there Runway length is just 2,100 feet. Yes, that's short, but what makes it even shorter is you have to come over a mountain ridge, basically, to get on it. So let's go. It's at sea level. We're taking a TBM 930. Uh, I do want to let you know that this 110 knots, I don't pay any attention to. I go flaps up, gear up, kind of haul butt, and then slow down kind of on final there. So we're looking for 85 knots. I do know that you probably want to be just slightly under that coming over the ridge. And I must say, with this joystick, it's very challenging for me. I don't know if my sensitivity is too high or whatnot, but I just can't flare very well. So in these rudder pedals, yeah, not so hot. All right, let's get into it. Let's go outside view. We're going to bring the flaps up. We're going to throw that thrust lever all the way up 100%. Right, we're at a thousand feet off the deck here, climbing through 180 knots. I might as well just make the video a little interesting. Let's go ahead and see what this thing can do. Slightly over nose pressure, slightly pulling back here. That's good. That's good. All right, I do know that the runway kind of aligns with the two rocks here, so I'm gonna make this dog leg face the final. Start bringing that thrust lever back. Uh, looks like this has a TLA lever here. Thrust levers get too low without the gear down at all. I don't see it for you. We are really fast, so I'm putting this in a forward slip. Full flaps. Now let me tell you, I'll never fly an approach like this in real life. Still fast, slightly high. This is crazy. We'll bleed off some airspeed holding that pitch up. There's our 85 knots. Want to slowly start to get below it. Maneuvering over the hill, kind of dive bombing it. Got the numbers here. Start to flare. Oh no. Oh no. Come on, baby. Sit down. Oh no. This is a go round for me. Wood and Dell. We're gonna go flaps here, here. Make a left traffic kind of 
Wow, what a great start of the video there. Alright, flaps all the way up. I'll make this a tight traffic pattern. It's crazy because I didn't have much airspeed. It just must be getting a ground effect. I'm not very good at it. Kind of having a feel for flaring, so. It's only my, my third time playing this game. Alright. Kind of a tight pattern here. We're gonna go ear down. First notch of collapse. How are we looking? Alright, it faced the final. There's a traffic pattern for you right there. I'm gonna go full flaps. Yeah, I know, I'm out of the white arc. I should be putting full flaps on right now, but. Flight idle, losing all that airspeed. Alright, runway's just over this S road that goes up this hill. Eight knots slow, so I'm gonna add some power. Eight knots slow. I want to be about ten knots below me right here, especially because I suck up there. All right, we are high, so we're gonna go power idle. I'm just gonna kind of try. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness. All right. So we're gonna call this one bus. Nothing sounds better than throwing this thing in reverse thrust, though. Yeah, that's gonna be like a score of five. Okay, wow, I'm in the top 4,000. Okay, well, we already know what I did wrong there. Let's restart. Oh, wow, what a, what a beginning, right? Yeah, the sensitivity on the flare is just unbelievable. If anyone knows how to adjust or if I should adjust or if I'm just that bad, let me know in the comments below. Also, if you guys enjoy stuff like this, I'd love to get more into uh, shooting approaches and teaching all some instrument stuff. I stream on Twitch all the time, and I ended up playing with a few of the subscribers quite frequently, and they're both working on their instrument uh, ratings right now, and we get on flight set, and I'll talk him through an approach, get him to set it up on the G1000, and we'll both pull up the approach plate on our phone, and we'll kind of work through it. It's a lot of fun. If you guys would like to see more, like, educational stuff, you can definitely, this is, you know having fun here. But I'd love to, you know, help my you know, followers and subscribers gain some sort of education value from stuff like this, especially people that are in the aviation world. You know, the thing I can do to help them come to. Alright, 10 knots fast, that'll bleed off real quick. Press levers up a little bit. Press the peppers are down, idle, come on, sit down, stop, 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 585, look, my best one ever is a million, am I ever going to be able to hit that again, probably not, alright, St. Bart's, that's enough with you. I'll, uh, yeah, I'll see you another day. So like I said, this is a turbo prop only. I know probably a lot of you would love to see me in the 320 or something. We'll save that for another video, especially if you guys enjoy stuff like this. I'd love to come back in and hit some of these other videos. Uh, let's take, let's take this caravan right here. Let's go in Nepal.
Now this would be a crazy, crazy airport to land at. There's only a few air, I guess, a handful of pilots in the world that can really do this type of bush flying this and like in Papua New Guinea, Indonesia. Uh, this is this is crazy. So airport elevation is 9180. It is way up there. I'm not sure what the service ceiling is on the Cessna 208, but can't be much higher than that. I, I can't imagine. It's not a pressurized cabin, so probably not going over 14,000 feet. So I'm not sure. I guess they kind of scud run their way out of here. Let's do it. 75 knots. Now that's impressive for a bigger aircraft like this, for anyone that is in general aviation, you know, like a Cessna 172, you're not much slower than that. And this is a significantly larger aircraft than 172. Uh, these are great airplanes. You can really load them up with cargo and they're really made for this bush flying, you know. This reverse for us is unbelievable on this aircraft. So we are gonna go flaps up, add some power here. These G1000s are unbelievable. It's a beautiful aircraft, it really is. And now, all right, let's go outside view. Our flaps up, gotta make things interesting. Let's see how the caravan does on a barrel roll. Wasn't over here. That wasn't so pretty. But she gets the job done. I will tell you, we don't do that in airlines. We wouldn't have a job after I know it would Or a pilot's license. I think the FAA would come and scoop that real quick. Alright, look at this. This has got to be a Log rolling over the mountain. Look at that mountain, how tall it is. About our two o'clock, one of the two o'clock there. Snow on top of it. Now we do know from experience that the caravan, once you go full flaps, it doesn't really want to climb. So you gotta make sure you really got that landing assured. We are slightly fast here. I wanna say we're high, so I'm gonna go ahead and go full flaps and slow this thing down. Seventy-five knots is what they say. We're definitely going to look for a little bit lower than that. Approach angle looks good, only losing two hundred feet per minute. Start adding some thrust. It's okay. I kind of want to stall it right here on this. This might be really good. Okay. That was an ugly landing, but the score might be good. Nope, not that great. See, I have 1.1 million. I got the leaderboard out of those two other subscribers that I play with. So that's cool. 853. That's not bad. You know what? We'll call it quits on the Nepal one just for that. I want to see if we can knock out a few more of these. Definitely, uh... Press to put that one on. These graphics are unbelievable. Let's go back. Let's do maybe a famous one. Hmm. <laughs> France. And a Bonanza. Here we go. Now we're talking. Okay. 2 2 right. We're landing 2 2 right here. Talked about a gorgeous approach. Runway length, 9,000 feet. I think I can do a couple takeoff and landings. To right, sea level, let's do it. So this is what I'm gonna be taking across the country and vlogging. You're gonna have all the ATC recordings, GoPros everywhere. It's gonna be such a blast, I can't wait. We're just three days away from that, so make sure you subscribe to that. And also, while we're plugging, Make sure you're following me on Instagram. It's also Fly with Garrett. Post on there daily. There's going to be a lot of behind the scenes on this trip. It's going to be a blast. I also own a flight apparel company, uh, a an apparel company called Flight Apparel. It'll be the first link in the description. There's a few items left from the previous launch. I've got the biggest launch of my life coming up as soon as I get back. Stuff like the Henley T will all be in the launch. 
All right, here we go. See, my Bonanza certainly doesn't have this stuff. Look outside. Brought the flaps up. Definitely don't have a G1000. Would love to have a G1000. But one day, I am putting a Garmin G3X Touch in here. Uh, let's, let's power this baby up and get there fast. Talk about a long base of final. I can't wait. I did just put a bunch of new avionics in. I put two dual G5s, which are essentially a miniature PFD. It's got your attitude, your vertical speed, altitude, your airspeed. And then just below that is a HSI. So that's going to have my CDI. Um, and then I also put a Garmin 750 in there, which I am just stoked about. I've only got to fly the aircraft once, we just got back last week, and it just looks like it's going to be so much fun to fly. The 750, touch three, it's, it's beautiful. All right, let's see. This is a G36. I'm not sure what the difference is between my A36 and the G36. Uh, it might just be avionics and stuff. Of course, this has a beautiful paint job. All right, let's go. First notch of flaps, gear down. We're obviously high and fast here. We've got four white lights on the Pappy. Still, I want to say fast. I don't recall what. Oh no, I just brought my gear up. That's not. You think I can recover? Full flaps, gear. I think this gear is going fast. Come on, break. Break, 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 break! Center line wasn't so hot. Wow, I'm in the top 17,000. And I own this aircraft. And I'm in last place. That wasn't so good. Should I do that one, one more time? That one's not that far. Let's see if we can find a better one. I forgot to do a barrel roll in the Bonanza. Oh. Where to? Where to? Where to? Was there a third option? Strong wind? Alright, let's end on a strong wind. Sedona in a 150 or 152? Okay. <laughs> Definitely up on a plateau here. Yep. It's 4,800 feet of sea level. 1.8 million. It takes the leaderboard. Here we go. Let's see how much of a joke this is. 65 knots. It's crazy. They say 65 knots at a 152, but that caravan was 75 knots. And it's three times the size of the aircraft. But that's that's one beautiful thing about the caravan. You know, you can get nice and slow in that. Stall speed of a 172S. I miss that. All right, here we go. Look at this thing bouncing around because of the wind. It's so funny. Look at this. Let's see how fast we can get it. <laughs> I'm laughing because I bought a 152 when I was in college to help build flight time with my friend who's actually going with me on my cross country. And this is me and him. Take it. Taking this 152 everywhere, this with that lawnmower engine on the front. 140 knots. Now I will say my crosswind correction, as you can see, is not very good because these rudder belts something else. I can't wait to get the full honeycomb set up. Have an actual yoke. 
of back pressure and stuff with a throttle quadrant. I think I'm looking forward to that. I think the throttle quadrant comes out in September. So that'll be a blast. Alright, 80 knots. Here we are. That's our brain first knot to collapse in. Touchdown points on the thousand footers. Second notch of flaps. Short face the final here. I want to come real low. I want to put this right on the thousand footers. 65 knots, that's what it was saying. I'm going to get low and slow here. The place that you don't want to be as a pilot. But I'm going to go full flaps here. See, I. So sensitive. Go idle. Oh, you you floated. I'm just gonna. Oh, I'm gonna do it again. Put the nose down. Oh, that's called a bulk landing. Except for you would normally keep going. All right. Okay, let's restart. Come on. It's going to be a score of four, basically. That's embarrassing. Let's not do that again. I tried doing a go round, but that's what happens when you have a lawnmower engine on an airplane. I say lawnmower just because of how underpowered the 152 is. I was full power. Yeah, I should have brought the flaps all the way up, but. Oh, well, it's going to take me 10 minutes to get there again. I'm just going to kind of shoot for the numbers here. That was so bad. So I need to come lower. My sense of depth is vastly off. I'll tell you, I'm doing 125 knots and 152. Quick though, two miles a minute. Not bad. Four thousand foot runway. All right. People calling me while I'm making videos. What are you doing? All right. First notch of flaps. I can't wait to fly the 320. You guys gotta let me know if you want videos of that. Second notch of flaps. Oh, we're slow. Gotta put that nose now. I'm full power right now. Go 65 knots. Full flaps here. I gotta come way down. No, don't touch down. Oh, it's right on the numbers, but I gotta stop fast. I'm just here for scores, not prettiness. Let's go. Broken million. That's all I cared about. What? Bernardo still had. Uh, but see, he just flew this. Like, he actually is flying the 152 for his private. Well, he's working on an instrument now, but. Alright, I'm gonna wrap up the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it's a little different from the YouTube channel, but I'd love to provide. This is more entertainment. I'd love to provide some sort of education in the aviation realm. So, let me know if you guys want a whole flight sim series where i teach approaches and just whatever you guys want let me know in the comments below make sure you subscribe smash that thumbs up button and until next time see ya